Hi friend, today we're diving into something every Remarkable Paper Pro user should know. How to reset their device. Some people think resetting a device means it's broken, but actually it's more like a fresh start for your device. Whether your device has slowed down, become unresponsive, isn't showing the correct charge level, glitching, not powering on, or if you just want to give it away and clear everything off, we've got you covered. In this video, I will show you how to do both soft reset and factory hard reset, plus how to recover the software if things go wrong. So let's just jump right in. Soft reset. Let's start with the soft reset. This is a great option if your Remarkable Paper Pro is acting up, but you don't want to lose any data. There are two ways to do a soft reset. The first one is super simple. Hold down the power button for 30 seconds. Once you let go, press the power button again. The device will then go through its usual process. First, you will see the starting screen, then the loading screen, and finally, you will be back at the main screen. If your device is responsive, there's another way to restart it through the menu. Open the side menu and go to settings. In the general section, choose the restart option and confirm you want to restart. Just like the first method, you will see the starting and loading screen, and then the main screen will appear. Both of these methods are great for giving your device a quick refresh without deleting any of your content. Before we jump to the next section, I just want to ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this video. Appreciate your support. Factory reset. Now let's talk about the hard reset, also known as the factory reset. This is a go-to option if you want to completely wipe your remarkable paper pro. Maybe you're giving it away or you just want to start from scratch. Here's how to do it. Open the side menu and go to settings. From there, navigate to general, then to accounts, and finally select factory reset. Now, before you go ahead and confirm this, keep in mind that performing a factory reset will delete all files stored on your Remarkable and restore the device to its original settings. So just make sure you've backed up anything important. Once the reset is complete, your Remarkable will start up just like it did when it was brand new, going through the standard setup and onboarding process. Software recovery. Lastly, if your Remarkable Paper Pro becomes completely unresponsive, you can reset the software using a recovery process. This can take up to 20 minutes and you will need a computer with an internet connection to complete this. Here's how to do it on a Mac. First, connect your Remarkable Paper Pro to your computer using the USB cable. Make sure you keep it connected for the entire recovery process. Then, press and hold the power button on your device for 30 seconds, and after that, press the power button again for 3 seconds. Now, you won't see any visible sign that the recovery process has started at this point, but don't worry, you're on the right track. On your computer, you will need to download the recovery tool, which comes in a zip file. The link to the file is in the description. By default, the file will land in your downloads folder. There are two versions of the tool, one for Intel processors and one for ARM processors. To check which file you need, click the Apple icon in the upper left corner of your screen, then select About this Mac. If your Mac has an M1, M2 or M3 chip, you will need ARM file. If it has an Intel processor, download the Intel version. Once you've downloaded the right file, go to rm underscore recover folder and open rm underscore recover file. If your computer asks for permissions to connect an accessory, click allow. In terminal, type the following command visible on the screen now. If your device is in recovery mode, it should say status OK. If you see status fail, you will need to repeat the step where you press and hold the power button for 30 seconds, followed by the 3 seconds. To start the recovery process, type the command visible on the screen and then enter your Mac login password. Keep in mind, you won't see anything appear on the screen as you type your password, but it's being entered. Now, wait while your Remarkable Paper Pro restarts. This could take a few minutes and during this time, the screen may turn on and off multiple times, which is completely normal. If everything goes well, your Paper Pro will restart automatically and you're all set. For Windows users, you can follow the specific recovery steps for your operating system directly from Remarkable's official support page, which I've linked in the description. Hopefully, this guide helped you reset or recover your Remarkable Paper Pro. If you found this video helpful, 
don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!